The World Bank Group WBG, is a family of five international organizations that make leveraged loans to developing countries. It is the largest and most well-known development bank in the world and is an observer at the United Nations Development Group. The bank is headquartered in Washington, D.C. in the United States. It provided around $61 billion in loans and assistance to developing and transition countries in the 2014 fiscal year. The bank's stated mission is to achieve the twin goals of ending extreme poverty and building shared prosperity. Total lending as of 2015 for the last 10 years through development policy financing was approximately $117 billion. Its five organizations are the International Bank for Reconstruction and Development IBRD, the International Development Association IDA, the International Finance Corporation IFC, the Multilateral Investment Guarantee Agency MIGA, and the International Center for Settlement of Investment Disputes ICSID. The first two are sometimes collectively referred to as the World Bank. The World Bank's the IBRD and IDA's activities are focused on developing countries, in fields such as human development e.g. education, health, agriculture and rural development e.g. irrigation and rural services, environmental protection e.g. pollution reduction, establishing and enforcing regulations, infrastructure e.g. roads, urban regeneration, and electricity, large industrial construction projects, and governance e.g. anti-corruption, legal institutions development. The IBRD and IDA provide loans at preferential rates to member countries, as well as grants to the poorest countries. Loans or grants for specific projects are often linked to wider policy changes in the sector or the country's economy as a whole. For example, a loan to improve coastal environmental management may be linked to development of new environmental institutions at national and local levels and the implementation of new regulations to limit pollution. The World Bank has received various criticisms over the years and was tarnished by a scandal with the bank's then president Paul Wolfowitz and his aide, Shaha Riza, in 2007. Topic History Topic Founding The WBG came into formal existence on 27 December 1946 following international ratification of the Bretton Woods Agreements, which emerged from the United Nations Monetary and Financial Conference 1 July 1944. It also provided the foundation of the Oceander Committee in 1951, responsible for the preparation and evaluation of the World Development Report. Commencing operations on 25 June 1946, it approved its first loan on 9 May 1947, 250 million United States dollars to France for post-war reconstruction, in real terms the largest loan issued by the bank to date. Topic. Membership. All of the 193 UN members and Kosovo that are WBG members participate at a minimum in the IBRD. As of May 2016, all of them also participate in some of the other four organizations, IDA, IFC, MIGA, ICSID. WBG members by the number of organizations which they participate in only in IBRD, none. 
IBRD and one other organization, San Marino, Nauru, Tuvalu, Brunei, IBRD and two other organizations, Antigua and Barbuda, Suriname, Venezuela, Namibia, Marshall Islands, Kiribati. IBRD and three other organizations, India, Mexico, Belize, Jamaica, Dominican Republic, Brazil, Bolivia, Uruguay, Ecuador, Dominica, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Guinea-Bissau, Equatorial Guinea, Angola, South Africa, Seychelles, Libya, Somalia, Ethiopia, Eritrea, Djibouti, Bahrain, Qatar, Iran, Malta, Bulgaria, Poland, Russia, Belarus, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, Palau, Tonga, Vanuatu, Maldives, Bhutan, Myanmar. All five WBG organizations, the rest of the 138 WBG members non members are Andorra, Cuba, Liechtenstein, Monaco, State of Palestine, Vatican City, Taiwan, and North Korea. Topic: Organizational structure. Together with four affiliated agencies created between 1957 and 1988, the IBRD is part of the World Bank Group. The group's headquarters are in Washington, D.C. It is an international organization owned by member governments, although it makes profits, these profits are used to support continued efforts in poverty reduction. Technically the World Bank is part of the United Nations system, but its governance structure is different. Each institution in the World Bank group is owned by its member governments, which subscribe to its basic share capital, with votes proportional to shareholding. Membership gives certain voting rights that are the same for all countries but there are also additional votes which depend on financial contributions to the organization. The President of the World Bank is nominated by the President of the United States and elected by the Bank's Board of Governors. As of 15 November 2009 the United States held 16.4% of total votes, Japan 7.9%, Germany 4.5%, the United Kingdom 4.3%, and France 4.3%. As changes to the bank's charter require an 85% supermajority, the U.S. can block any major change in the bank's governing structure. <laughs> <laughs> World Bank Group Agencies The World Bank Group consists of the International Bank for Reconstruction and Development IBRD, established in 1945, which provides debt financing on the basis of sovereign guarantees. The International Finance Corporation IFC, established in 1956, which provides various forms of financing without sovereign guarantees, primarily to the private sector. The International Development Association IDA, established in 1960, which provides concessional financing interest-free loans or grants, usually with sovereign guarantees. The International Center for Settlement of Investment Disputes ICSID, established in 1965, which works with governments to reduce investment risk. The Multilateral Investment Guarantee Agency MIGA, established in 1988, which provides insurance against certain types of risk, including political risk, primarily to the private sector. The term, World Bank, generally refers to just the IBRD and IDA, whereas the term, World Bank Group, or WBG, 
is used to refer to all five institutions collectively. The World Bank Institute is the capacity development branch of the World Bank, providing learning and other capacity building programs to member countries. The IBRD has 189 member governments, and the other institutions have between 153 and 184 members. The institutions of the World Bank Group are all run by a Board of Governors meeting once a year. Each member country appoints a governor, generally its Minister of Finance. On a daily basis the World Bank Group is run by a board of 25 executive directors to whom the governors have delegated certain powers. Each director represents either one country for the largest countries, or a group of countries. Executive directors are appointed by their respective governments or the constituencies. The agencies of the World Bank are each governed by their articles of agreement that serve as the legal and institutional foundation for all of their work. The activities of the IFC and MEGA include investment in the private sector and providing insurance, respectively. Topic. Presidency Traditionally, the bank president has always been a U.S. citizen nominated by the President of the United States, the largest shareholder in the bank. The nominee is subject to confirmation by the Board of Governors, to serve for a five-year, renewable term. Topic. Current president On February 1, 2019 Kristalina Georgieva became acting president. On April 5, 2019 David R. Malpass was selected as the 13th World Bank Group president, his term began on April 9, 2019. Topic. Managing Director Managing Director of the World Bank is responsible for organizational strategy, budget and strategic planning, information technology, shared services, corporate procurement, general services and corporate security, the sanctions system, and the conflict resolution and internal justice system. The present MD Shaolin Yang assumed the office after Sri Mulyani resigned from the post to take the charge as Finance Minister of Indonesia. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Independent Evaluation Group. The Independent Evaluation Group IEG, formerly known as the Operations Evaluation Department OED, plays an important check and balance role in the World Bank. Similar in its role to the U.S. government's Government Accountability Office GAO, it is an independent unit of the World Bank that reports evaluation findings directly to the bank's Board of Executive Directors. Caroline Hyder is the Director General, Evaluation, whose evaluations provide an objective basis for assessing the results of the bank's work, and ensuring accountability of World Bank management to the member countries through the World Bank Board in the achievement of its objectives. Topic. Extractive Industries Review After long-standing criticisms from civil society of the bank's involvement in the oil, gas, and mining sectors, the World Bank in July 2001 launched an independent review called the Extractive Industries Review not to be confused with Environmental Impact Report. The review was headed by an eminent person. Dr. Emil Salim, former Environment Minister of Indonesia. 
Dr. Salim held consultations with a wide range of stakeholders in 2002 and 2003. The IR recommendations were published in January 2004 in a final report entitled, Striking a Better Balance. The report concluded that fossil fuel and mining projects do not alleviate poverty, and recommended that World Bank involvement with these sectors be phased out by 2008 to be replaced by investment in renewable energy and clean energy. The World Bank published its management response to the IR in September 2004, following extensive discussions with the Board of Directors. The management response did not accept many of the IR report's conclusions. However, the IR served to alter the World Bank's policies on oil, gas and mining in important ways, as has been documented by the World Bank in a recent follow-up report. One area of particular controversy concerned the rights of indigenous peoples. Critics point out that the management response weakened a key recommendation that indigenous peoples and affected communities should have to provide consent for projects to proceed, instead, there would be consultation. Following the IR process, the World Bank issued a revised policy on indigenous peoples. Impact evaluations In recent years there has been an increased focus on measuring results of World Bank development assistance through impact evaluations. An impact evaluation assesses the changes in the well-being of individuals that can be attributed to a particular project, program or policy. Impact evaluations demand a substantial amount of information, time and resources. Therefore, it is important to select carefully the public actions that will be evaluated. One of the important considerations that could govern the selection of interventions whether they be projects, programs or policies for impact evaluation is the potential of measuring the results for learning. In general, it is best to evaluate interventions that maximize the possibility of learning from current poverty reduction efforts and provide insights for mid-course correction, as necessary. To get more information ABIT Impact Evaluations and Development please visit the Development Impact blog. Topic. Access to information The World Bank's policy on access to information has enabled the organization to become a global leader in transparency and has made a groundbreaking change in how the World Bank makes information available to the public. Now the public has access to more information than ever before information about projects under preparation, projects under implementation, analytic and advisory activities, and board proceedings. Underlying the policy is the principle that the World Bank, namely the International Bank for Reconstruction and Development and the International Development Association, will disclose any information in its possession that is not on its list of exceptions. The policy also outlines a clear process for making information publicly available and provides a right to appeal if information seekers believe they were improperly or unreasonably denied access to information or there is a public interest case to override an exception that restricts access to certain information. Topic. AIDS funding Since 1989, WBG financing for HIV and AIDS has totaled over US$5 billion. 
specifically, through the International Development Association IDA, the WBG's Fund for the Poorest. Between 2000 and 2014 the WBG ensured that 1.3 million adults and children received antiretroviral combination therapy, purchased and or distributed 386 million condoms for the prevention of HIV, sexually transmitted diseases, and unwanted pregnancies and trained 2.6 million health personnel to improve the quality of health services delivery. The WBG has funded about 50,000 community AIDS organizations globally, helping to create effective community responses in more than 50 countries. Topic. Criticism. The World Bank has long been criticized by a range of non-governmental organizations and academics, notably including its former chief economist Joseph Stiglitz, who is equally critical of the International Monetary Fund, the U.S. Treasury Department, and U.S. and other developed country trade negotiators. Critics argue that the so-called free market reform policies, which the bank advocates in many cases, in practice are often harmful to economic development if implemented badly, too quickly, shock therapy, in the wrong sequence, or in very weak, uncompetitive economies. World Bank loan agreements can also force procurements of goods and services at uncompetitive, non free market prices. In Masters of Illusion, The World Bank and the Poverty of Nations, 1996, Catherine Cofield argues that the assumptions and structure of the World Bank operation ultimately harms developing nations rather than promoting them. In terms of assumption, Cofield first criticizes the highly homogenized and Western recipes of development held by the bank. To the World Bank, different nations and regions are indistinguishable, and ready to receive the uniform remedy of development. The danger of this assumption is that to attain even small portions of success, Western approaches to life are adopted and traditional economic structures and values are abandoned. A second assumption is that poor countries cannot modernize without money and advice from abroad. A number of intellectuals in developing countries have argued that the World Bank is deeply implicated in contemporary modes of donor and NGO-driven imperialism and that its intellectual contribution functions, primarily, to seek to blame the poor for their condition. Defenders of the World Bank contend that no country is forced to borrow its money. The bank provides both loans and grants. Even the loans are concessional since they are given to countries that have no access to international capital markets. Furthermore, the loans, both to poor and middle-income countries, are at below market value interest rates. The World Bank argues that it can help development more through loans than grants, because money repaid on the loans can then be lent for other projects. Criticism was also expressed towards the IFC and MEGA and their way of evaluating the social and environmental impact of their projects. Critics state that even though IFC and MEGA have more of these standards than the World Bank they mostly rely on private sector clients to monitor their implementation and miss an independent monitoring institution in this context. This is why an extensive review of the institution's implementation strategy of social and environmental standards is demanded. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Allegations of corruption. The World Bank's Integrity Vice Presidency INT is charged with investigation of internal fraud and corruption, including complaint intake, investigation and investigation reports. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Investments. The World Bank Group has also been criticized for investing in projects with human rights issues. The Compliance Advisor, Ombudsman Sal, criticized a loan given to the palm oil company Denant by the World Bank after the 2009 Honduran coup d'état. There have been numerous killings of peasants in the region where Dinant was operating. Other controversial investments include loans for the Chizoy hydroelectric dam in Guatemala while it was under military dictatorship, and a loan to Goldcorp, then Glamis Gold, for the construction of the Marlin mine. Topic: <laughs> List of presidents. Eugene Meyer, the 18th of June 1946 to the 4th of December 1946. John J. McCloy, the 17th of March 1947 to the 1st of July 1949. Eugene R. Black, Sr., the 1st of July 1949 to the 1st of January 1963. George D. Woods, the 1st of January 1963 to the 1st of April 1968. Robert McNamara, the 1st of April 1968 to the 1st of July 1981. Alden W. Clausen, the 1st of July 1981 to the 1st of July 1986. Barber Conabel, the 1st of July 1986 to the 1st of September 1991. Louis T. Preston, the 1st of September 1991 to the 1st of February 1995. Acting Ernest Stern, the 1st of February 1995 to the 1st of June 1995. James Wolfenson, the 1st of June 1995 to the 1st of June 2005. Paul Wolfowitz, the 1st of June 2005 to the 1st of July 2007. Robert Zolik, the 1st of July 2007 to the 1st of July 2012. Jim Yong Kim, the 1st of July 2012 to the 1st of February 2019. Kristalina Georgieva, interim, the 1st of February 2019 to the 4th of April 2019. David Malpass, the 5th of April 2019 present. Topic: List of chief economists. Hollis B. Chenery, 1972 to 1982. Ann Osborne Kruger, 1982 to 1986. Stanley Fisher, 1988 to 1990. Lawrence Summers, 1991 to 1993. Michael Bruno, 1993 to 1996. Joseph E. Stiglitz, 1997 to 2000. Nicholas Stern, 2000 to 2003. Francois Bourguignon, 2003 to 2007. Justin Yifu Lin, June 2008 to June 2012. Martin Rivalian, June 2012 to October 2012. Kashik Basu, October 2012 to July 2016. Paul Romer, August 2016 to January 2018. Shanta Devrajan, January 2018 to November 2018, acting. Pinelope Kujanu Goldberg, November 2018, current. Topic: List of World Bank Directors General of Evaluation. Christopher Willoughby, successively Unit Chief, Division Chief, and Department Director for Operations Evaluation, 1970 to 1976. 
Mervyn L. Weiner, First Director General, Operations Evaluation, 1975 to 1984. Eve Rovani, Director General, Operations Evaluation, 1986 to 1992. Robert Pachotto, Director General, Operations Evaluation, 1992 to 2002. Gregory K. Ingram, Director General, Operations Evaluation, 2002 to 2005. Vinod Thomas, Director General, Evaluation, 2005 to 2011. Caroline Hyder, Director General, Evaluation, 2011 present. Topic: List of World Bank Board of Directors. International Bank for Reconstruction and Development, International Finance Corporation, International Development Association, Executive Directors and Alternates Topic. See also China and the World Bank All pages with titles containing World Bank